Bob has been running his bakery for a few months and has now perfected his signature cookie recipe. He has also diversified into cakes, but is unsure how to cost both products. Bob knows that he requires a basic product costing system. Bob already has a system to record the different costs of the bakery, so turns his attention to cost assignment. Bob knows that costs can be either traced or allocated depending on whether the cost is classified as direct or indirect. Direct costs are traced directly to the cost object. Direct costs have a physical or observable relationship with the cost object, so it is known exactly how much of the resource is consumed by the cost object. For example, flour is a direct cost in cookie production, as the exact amount of flour in each cookie is known. Indirect costs, also known as overheads, do not have a direct relationship to a cost object, making it difficult to know how much overhead should be assigned to each of the different products in the bakery. Another difficulty with some overhead costs is that the actual cost incurred is not known at the time of production. For example, Bob's electricity bill only arrives every three months, by which time almost all the products have already been produced and sold. More timely information is needed for making decisions such as setting selling prices and determining the right product mix. A conventional product costing system involves two basic steps. The first step is cost accumulation, which is the process of recording the cost of resources consumed in the firm and then aggregating these costs into cost pools, which represent a type of cost. The second step is cost assignment, which is the process of assigning costs to cost objects, such as products. Bob has decided to use a simple method of allocating indirect costs to products called the plant-wide method. Bob estimates all of the indirect costs in the bakery, such as depreciation, rent, maintenance, and electricity for the upcoming year and aggregates these costs into a single cost pool. Bob then selects a single cost driver that best represents the cause and effect relationship between the use of overheads and the products made in the bakery. Bob selects the number of machine hours used by the products. Once Bob has estimated the total overheads and the total machine hours for the upcoming year, he calculates an overhead allocation rate using the formula total budgeted overhead divided by total budgeted driver. Bob realizes that the products in the bakery are likely to require different approaches to product costing. For cookies, Bob uses a process costing system. When products are identical and produced in large quantities, the focus of product costing is the production process, not the individual product. As chocolate chip cookies are made in large batches, the whole batch is costed, not the individual cookies. To get the cost per unit, Bob simply has to divide the total manufacturing cost of the batch by the number of units. Unlike cookies, Bob's custom birthday cakes are unique and every cake requires a different process. Therefore, costs are accumulated at the unit level and each cake is costed separately. With the product costing system in place, Bob has a much better understanding about the costs incurred in making different products, which will help Bob make better decisions to increase the financial performance of the bakery.